Blackberry torch. Uh, yes, I do. Can I see it? It was stolen a couple of days ago. Then I think you should kill him. Kill him? Johnny, that's completely out of the question. I how can I kill my goodness, I can't. Good evening, sir. Oh, Ben McDonald, is that you? Yes, sir. I'm going home, sir. Do you mind if I check in your car? Whoever this murderer is, he's not in this alone. And sooner rather than later, they will both go down. Is there anyone you're suspecting? I feel something for you. Something? Hello? There are lunatics in town like that. Immediately they know you're famous. They just come around to create a scene. ATM card expenditure detail. Hmm. He made several periodic payments with an e-card. A young lady I've never seen before in my life says she's pregnant and I'm responsible. I'm completely shaken. I'll...
Okay, get off, boy. Let me. My business. Everything surrounding it is my business. I mind my own business. Sassy drink is not your business. Why are you trying to make it my business? You talk? Oh. Very smart ones. <laughs> Money laundering is a serious offense in Ghana. I'm a step ahead of you, Jack Kenty. Get my file from Akosu Akofi, and I'll destroy that. Mm, I've got one against you. No, you don't, Jack. ever want to do. Go to work. You asked me to move in here and I did. Big foolish goat that I am. Oh, my brother is a policeman. He will protect me from the barbarian I took for a husband. I asked you to move in here because the beating was becoming too rampant. Of course I said it. Big sis, come and live in with me. Oh yes, and I did. Because little brother said so, I said Eureka. I am free at last, only for a lunatic of a husband to come in right after your nose to unleash this callousness of... What did you expect me to do? <laughs> that was the same question you asked me when I was in my husband's house. And I foolishly thought that you had figured out a way to protect me when you asked me to move in here. Do I look like a divorce lawyer? Excuse me? Are you asking me to divorce my husband? I am asking you to give it a thought. Since coming to living here with me does not give you any better solution. That was the same solution you were preferring. And I know it will never work. It's like all the others. You sit there and let people oppress you. You shouldn't have been a policeman. Not even a boy scout. Because boy scouts are always prepared. Well, the unfortunate. I am still a policeman and nobody can change that. Not even you. I'm a policeman. And a proud one at that. Hello, kids. Uncle is leaving for work, so you take this for toughies. And you take it. And here you go. What do you say? Thank you. Good. All right. So can I leave now? Uncle, do it for me. Okay. Like it? Good. See you later. Don't worry, be happy. La 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 la. And I'm gonna sing a note for notes. So don't worry. Don't be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. I say when you worry, your face will frown. And you're gonna let everybody down, so don't worry. I'll be happy. I say, when you worry, your face will frown. I don't think it's a nice idea, Maris. Busting these guys without any official brief? I mean, it sounds crazy. Well, I don't know what that word means. I haven't really had the time to check it out in the dictionary. 
I want ice cream. How many fingers do you have? One. The thumb. To face my nose. That's the guy. Hey, take a chill pill, okay? How many fingers do you have? What kind of stupid question is that? <laughs> oh, don't be angry. Five, of course. You know, some people have one finger. Just one finger. Well, I guess it's lunchtime now. Get out of the car. I ain't getting off no car in this together. Sorry, love, this meal is for one only. Get out. How many fingers do you have? One. The thumb feeds my nose. That's right. Try this because you're ready. Yes. Don't take me to jail, please. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Let him go. Sorry, boss. I'm only doing this part of my job. <laughs> boss. Whoever do 
your so-called superior authorities are. It's okay, Maris. It's obvious your speech was directed at your boss who didn't hear you. So can you hush it a little bit? I'm trying to concentrate here. Asante, do you know the difference between you and I? You can be quiet in the face of adversity, tyranny, corruption, and oppression. Yeah. You can turn the left cheek to be slapped again after the right has been hit. You can love a dog so much and yet watch it die in the hands of bad people. You're unfortunately a policeman who lives every day regretting and mourning the death of his partners when his killers walk about freely. Yeah. You're a good friend who couldn't protect a late friend's daughter. Ain't you know what else you are? Stop it! Stop it, Maris! Oh, yes, you did. You so dead. You know what, Morris? Give someone a shot to have a break, for God's sake. Why are you trying to screw him up? For God's sake, he is your boyfriend. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. That's why I screw him. Sassy document now. It is my duty as a Ghanaian citizen to respect law and order. It is also my duty as a police officer of the Republic of Ghana to serve and protect with integrity. So if you want the Sassy document, please help me drop dead. All right. That's the way you want it. But you know, you've really, really made my work very, very easy for me. Today is your lucky day. My hands are itching to kill. Oh, yes. No, no, please, please, don't kill me. I don't want to die. Do you hear that? He says he doesn't want to die. Oh. I'll give you the sassy document. What? 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 What was that? What was that? I'll give you the sassy document. Okay. 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 All right. Come on. Let's have it. Come on. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. There she is. Welcome to daddy, baby. Don't kill me. I don't want to die.
Judge Mesa here. How may I be of help? Yes, my name is Akusia Kofi. I have the Sassy document. Sassy document? I said I have it. Uh, Marius. Oh, yes. Uh, could you please excuse me? Sure. Look, Akusia has a document and she's on the way to the station right now. Bullshit me, Maris. Look, I never bullshit, okay? You'll be in jail if she gets here before you get her. Black, sir. Get the sassy document from Akusia Kofi. We need to put an end to all these once and for all. Look, Asante. Yes, sir. If you think your health is standing in the way of your duty, then throw in a towel. What else can I do to make ends meet, sir? I'm taking care of my sister and her two kids. These two drug barons are becoming the most influential men in Ghana. They give the nation the impression that they are honest businessmen. Everybody thinks they are, but we don't. You don't. Um, sir. Is there anything else I could do for you? Marlis, if we had two of your type, crime would be a thing of the past in Ghana. <laughs> I'm flattered. Asante here needs a little conviction. You know, he stopped being a tough policeman the very day his partner was killed. God killed him in the line of duty. He was a good ambassador for this country. I don't remember him having any decent burial. When was the last time anybody gave any entitlement to his daughter? If he had not inherited a large estate from his late father, I'm sure the daughter would be on the streets begging for arms. When was the last time anybody actually heard from her? Today, 20 minutes ago. Matter of fact, she's on her way here with a sassy document. No! Sir, don't endanger her life, please. These men are too powerful. Leave her out of this. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Have you heard? Of sassy drink. Who is this? Never mind. I want you to investigate Nana Kojo and bring him to book. What makes you think I want to do that? Well, I got everything that it takes to help you. I am not in need. Nana Kojo killed your best friend. Unfortunately, tracking him down will not resurrect my dead friend. And you must be Jack Kente. That is why I want you for this job. You're very swift in thinking, and your intuition is very remarkable. I am not interested. Thank you. Your sister thinks you are very weak, but I don't think so. Huh? And those lovely two kids of hers. Very lovely, aren't they? Huh? And I know you've never forgiven yourself for not being there to protect your good friend. And you surely will never be there to protect your sister and the kids. You are bluffing. Bluffing? <laughs> Akosuya. Your best friend's daughter, only daughter, has in her possession the sassy documents. And Nana Kujo has sent his men after her to take her life. Hurry! While you can. Hurry! Hello? Inspector Santi, please, I'm driving. I will see you shortly in your office. Hello? Inspector, I think I've got company. Where are you? I believe with traffic lights. 
I'll be right there. Darling. I don't get you. What I mean is, I need the sassy document. Sassy document? Mm. I don't have it here with me. Okay? Okay, you know what? Please don't hurt me. I just remembered I have it in my car. Yeah? One minute. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't I forgetting something? Nothing. Give me ambulance quick, okay? Uh, for second Crescent Street, Joel. Right now. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, boss? They got her. She's dead, sir. Is death. She didn't have to die, sir. She had the document with her. Or did they find it? I don't care about any documents, sir. He asked me to protect his daughter. Those were his last words after the investigation of the goddamn satisfier. Whatever be the case, sorry about her death. I do not accept excuses. How can you come here and tell me someone got her before you? Now, 
Where is the succeed document? I should be asking you that. I'm not cut for such pranks. Did you send your boys against Akosia and the documents? Oh, if I did, I would be so glad to let you know. Good job. Are you trying to tell me that safety of lives and property is no longer guaranteed in this country? Hmm? Chantel. Sir. Get me some more Asante. Yes, sir. You are a prime suspect. Why were you insistent on preventing her from getting the file here? I was not preventing her from bringing the file. I was preventing her from dying, from being killed. I'm not impressed, Asante. But I know you wouldn't hurt a fly. So, can I leave, sir? Not yet. I want you to investigate the Nakojo. Sir, why don't you deploy a full squad to arrest that bastard? You and I know he is the villain. No one is guilty until proven guilty by the law. Besides, Anakoju is a very important personality. He is one of the pillars of our economy. You can't just bombard a man of that caliber. I don't care what you think, sir. I think he should be in jail right now. <laughs> well, you have every reason to drive that one through. After all, he killed Akosia. Sorry, care for some tea? Today. I saw it in the news. Tell me that you don't have a hand in this. Your good old boy has retired. Someone is trying to be adventurous. The police are on it. Police on it? Yes, the police. Okay, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you too, my jewel. Someone here trying to be girls? No one but me. shouldn't have been a policeman, not even a boy scout. You're unfortunately a policeman who lives every day regretting and mourning the death of his partners when his killers walk about freely. Maris. Maris, you're wrong. You are wrong, Maris. I'm not dead, Maris. I will live. I am a living man, Maris. Live and I will fight. You are wrong. If you gave them the sassy document, you will still be alive. You had the choice to live or to die. You chose to die, knowing if you lived, thousands of Ghanaian youth will die. I didn't come with you on that mission because I was scared of dying. I was so angry at myself because you didn't get a decent burial. I have been so angry and scared of dying. I have died many times. I have become a walking corpse. 
I want to live. Rest in peace. into the Colombian market. Heads must roll because the competition is very high. As you well know, in this business, you can trust no one. I don't care how you want to do it. Dog eat dog to get fat. You know what I mean. But you must find a way to smuggle it into your country. Saxon is the greatest discovery of our time. And making money on a drink that makes people want to get high means making money in double folds. Colombia is a big market. It's working here, and it will work there. Come, and let me entertain you. You have all the immunity you would be needing. Hmm? The police force is solidly behind you. I want Nanakujo down. Okay? Okay, sir. Good. Yes. Yes. I want Nanakwaju incarcerated forever. And I'll give everything you need to investigate him. I don't need anything from you. Fact is, I just don't want any more killings. Oh, Samuel Asante. I think you need a good time. Hmm? Should I offer you this one? This is what you call a good time. Then I prefer stress. Talk to you some other day.
trouble, sir. Mr. George Mensa is here to see you. Good. Let him in and tell everybody else that I'm uh, at a meeting. Yes, sir. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. You can go in now. Come on, you're doing your job, okay? Good day, sir. There's nothing good about this day. Sit down and tell me what I want to hear. Don't get worked up, sir. I'm here to reassure you that I'm going to nail those bastards soon. And you think that what I want to hear? Look, George, I need results. Yes, sir. Those miscreants should be fished out now and fast. If you know the number of innocent youths, those people strike daily with their madness. And the picture paints about our beloved country gone. Now you wouldn't sit down there and tell me soon. Our people are turned into beasts. And this new government has vowed to put a stop to it. Okay, sir. I beg to leave. We shall still do our best. You don't only need to do your best. You need to get them arrested. Good day, sir. Good day, Mr. George Mensa. <laughs> yes, does it. Dad, you called me. This is Sheila, my beloved daughter. This is Tony. Tony Megabush. Is it in the Bible or the dictionary? No, you can find it in your encyclopedia or Guinness Book of Records. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ms. Sheila Kojo. Never mind that, I'm just an ordinary man. Of course. You're an ordinary man. Dad, we need to talk. Mr. Magbush, I'm sure I'll see you again. Good day. Western influence. I can see you. So you got something there. I mean, she's beautiful. She's been in America since she was 10. I don't understand. Why is he here? Who is giving you nightmare? Tony Magabush. What's that? The name of a new country? Tony Magabush is the number one drug lord in Africa. He worked with Pablo Escobar for some time before he got back to Sierra Leone. He's regarded as a godfather by drug barons and couriers. So what is he doing in Ghana? What is he doing in our beloved country, Ghana? That is the question. Which I think he should answer himself. Mm -hmm. I'll get him here. Sure. Sir, don't let his presence get you out of shape. Just take it easy, just like that juice you're drinking. Mm. Easy like Pampato. <laughs> <laughs> Maris, yeah. we need to talk. So I'll see you in a few days. Hmm. Um. There are certain things we will need to look at. I think we can apply them here. No. How this whole thing happened. Who am I speaking with? Tony. Tony Magabush. Ah. Tony Magabush. Unbelievable. I got into a country yesterday and I was wondering if we could hook up at the Le Baron Hotel 8 p.m. tonight. Brilliant. I've been looking forward to meet you face to face. Tony Magabush. <laughs> Girls? All for 
one. One. For all. <laughs> Sir, he still insists to know your name. Who do I tell him you are? Are you a Ghanaian? Yes, sir. I am from the Ashanti region. Kumasi to be precise. And you don't know me? That's strange. Surprise, surprise, young woman. You mean you are a Ghanaian and you don't know him? I'm shocked. Sorry, sir. Please save my work and tell me your name. Okay, tell him I'm Nanakoyo. Sir, his name is Nanakoyo. No, sir. He's with a man. I don't know, sir. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please go straight. this bureaucracy about. Mr. Kojo, is that your new way of greeting? I had to spend hours going through interrogation before that thing out there could allow me to see you. What's going on? What you have just passed through is called protocol. This is not my house, it's my office. When you go to Rome, you behave like the Romans behave. Hmm? Anyway, you're welcome. I'm here to introduce my business counterpart from Strelon to you. He's Tony, Tony Magabush. Mr. Magabush, Akwaba. Akwaba in Ghana means you're welcome. He told me a lot of good things about you. Keep up the good work. What he told you about me must be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, I choose to serve my people and the security services so that offenders will know they will have to face the full rigors of the law. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yes? What? Impossible. I'll get back to you. My good friend, it's everything all right? Unbelievable. The containers confirmed carrying cocaine have been discovered to contain only dry yam mills and white flour. What a mystery. How come I'm not aware of this development? The right question is, how come I am chatting with one of the major suspects when the bad news hits the airways? Honorable. I hope you are not indirectly talking to me. I'm as pure as a white dove, but come to think of it. How comes it's now that I'm in your country, all this is happening? I hate to be pushed. But if anyone does, the outcome will not be funny. Because when I sneeze, everyone around me catches cold. You know what that means? Hi. How may I help you? Well, my name is Marys Frimpon from the Ghana Police. I'm afraid you'd have to come with us to the station. I am 
under the auspices of Nanakoju. He would not be too pleased to hear this. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sure he'd be the first to know that you're under our custody. Yes, sir. Please. Mr. Magabush, I need to know how long you're staying in this country. I think that question should be asked by the immigration. <laughs> Tell me everything I need to know about this sassy drink. It's just a drink, like Coco 7 Up. You are wasting my time, woman, because I have a very important meeting in 30 minutes. I don't think so. You will lose your job if I miss this meeting. Nobody messes with Tony Magabush. Go and look at your encyclopedia. <laughs> Mr. Magabush, I can see you're trying to be tough. So I will be rough with you now. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, she's right here with me. You have a call. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Boss, isn't it? Shut up. I told you, the air can't be trapped. I'll remove this thing off my hand. Chantal, let's go. This is none of my business, okay? So why did you bring me here? Oh my God, none of your business? You just let Tony Magabush go after receiving an anonymous call and say it's not your business? Chantal, would you just let this rest? Let it rest? Are you out of your mind? You need to explain to me here now why you let him go. And I also need to know who made that call because obviously I know it's not from anyone in the office. Now you know. So what are you going to do about it? Hoop your ass. <laughs> Hoop my ass. Wow. How are you going to do that when? Because I really want to know. I'm going to report to George. Chantal, would you just let me be? Because you look fishy and I think you're a bad cop. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? I am very, very impressed. Now, what evidence do you have to back up your little assumption? Waiting on time. So now I'm going to lay hands on something and when I do, you'll be sorry you joined the service. But for now, the boss needs to know what just transpired between you and the notorious Tony Magabush. You want to fight me? <laughs> You know, you have a good fortune of knowing who I am. Many would kill to be in your shoes. Stay away from me if you do not want to die. This is a threat. It's not an empty one. It's 100% guaranteed. And if I don't... I'll salute you. Chantel, we can settle this. No, we have to finish what we started.
Judge Mesa here. Happening. Tell me. You didn't handle his case? That's what I you heard. Believe me, I didn't even see eye to eye with that guy after I arrested him. Then who interrogated him? That's the thing, I don't even Bye, know. Guys. Chantel. Maris, we need to talk now. Is there anything that matters? Let's talk. Chantel, you came at the right time. Tell me, you also don't know about this. What? Who interrogated Tony Magabush? But no, she was with me the whole time. She doesn't even know anything. Honey, I'm, I don't think she knows anything. Do you? No, I don't think so. Sweetie, let's, let's just forget about this whole thing, okay? Can you wait for us inside? Yes, I will. Okay. So, where were we? There is no basis for competition, Jacente. We are going to submit to only one authority for now. If we must present a formidable force. I'm not going to be subjected to any authority. We are not in fraternity. I do not think you have any option, Jacente. I do. Time has ended to come. Is there anything you're not telling me? Like what? Yeah, I think there's a sellout in my organization. Find out for yourself. I said find out for yourself. Anything on Nanakojo? I said, if you don't have anything on Nanakojo. Huh? Okay. Bye bye. Can I put it on record that the visit of Tony Magabush has links with the Sasa drink? How do you record something which you don't know? So are you saying that he has a reputable character and is not prepared to be involved with a controversial drink like Sassy? I don't know Sassy to be controversial. It is a good drink. Yeah. Good for your illegal business. They patronize Sassy because Sassy makes you want to get high. You appear to be a very knowledgeable detective. Thanks, Baron. I will be watching. Don't spend all your time watching me. Reserve some to watch your back. Thanks for your advice. Good night. Hey, Black. Keep quiet, Jack. Keep quiet. No, listen. What's your boss? Always your boss. It amazes me why you still haven't realized that one does not crawl forever. He must learn somehow, someday, to walk and thereafter run. As you know, boss. Is that the reason you send the police after my consignment? Knowing very well that I made you who you are. No, Jack, listen. By the hand of those exercise, we shall know between you and I who own the city. The city is owned by the rightful owner. Even Lucifer. Being the head of the angels, felt he deserved to be in God's position. He tried, never planned well, so he failed. But my own case is different. I am not Lucifer. I am Jacquette. So wait till then, boss. And remember, boss, boss. <laughs> Why do you have to cut the line, boss? Maris, I need a break. I really need time to follow up on this Sassy case. Are you out of your mind? Maybe. I need all the concentration I can get. 
Sam, I bet you, you wouldn't have a smooth ride. All right. Let's see how it goes. Sam. Sam. Sam! My dad told me the most dreaded man in the whole of Sierra Leone. Don't be naughty, Sheila. Your dad couldn't have told you that. So why do you choose to be dreaded? You could be loved. You could show love. I show love all the time, but people never get to love me back. Maybe you have to change your ways. God's love is the best. He's calling you to heaven and is asking you to change your way. Interesting. You don't look a Christian to me. You have pierced nostrils, you have bling blings, tattoos. Mm. That leaves you comfortably in hell. Christianity is between you and God. It's the relationship you cultivate with him that matters. Don't judge me by my look. So you think you have a better relationship? You're not bad as you portray yourself. You're too gentle and too concentrate for a dawn. Besides, your eyes look younger than your age, actually. Let's talk about religion. How about our religion, Shiva? Get me a drink. Excuse me. Okay, Dad. I don't really like it when my associate tries to get closer to my daughter. If you really understand what I mean. Hey, Nanakujo. Dogs that really want to bite, don't bark. Even if you try to bark, I'll send you to bark. You know, I think it's high time we both get really serious about this whole business. <clears throat> Nate, I think we should take it slow. I mean, I thought I had something serious with somebody until two days ago he told me that he needed a break. Look, I ain't getting any younger, you know. And besides, I'm not coming to fool around either. I seriously think we should take our time. See, I need to get to know you more. I need to see what you look like outside these suits. I need to see you in t-shirts and jeans. Baby, I don't think you're gonna like me in t-shirts, shorts or jeans. I think I will. But in the meantime, I am very impressed with your achievement so far. Thank you, sir. But there's still more work to do. I must fight drugs with the last breath in me. But you cannot achieve that all alone. You need all the help you can get, especially from the media. That is part of my schedule today, sir. I am meeting Mr. Ufuri Anang, the new head of Gold Media House here in Accra. Of course, see, in our society today, your types are very few. I have nothing to offer you, no gold, no silver, than to say, keep on fighting. Someday, someone, somewhere will remember you. <sighs> Thank you. I promise to do my best. I vowed to serve the citizens of this great nation, and that I must keep to preserve my integrity. I have sworn to help eliminate crime and all its associates, and I am not going back on that vow. If crime elimination is what you're in for, you must walk and look on both shoulders if you value your life. Those guys are animals. I know that, sir. That is why I use my gun to shoot animals like them. I'll do my best, sir. I'll do my best. I thank God I am a hunter.
Obviously, there is a large consignment of sassy drinks at the seaport. That is a new arrival for Nanakojo. And evidently, too, all these drinks are drug stimulated. How did he come by all these? From his talks with Tony Magabush. I have been eavesdropping, actually. We don't work on speculations. Give me facts. Give me details. I am a stickler for them. Okay, sir. Nana Kojo, I'm here to warn you that the secret agents are watching you. Remember, when an animal runs a bad run, the hunter shoots a bad gun. I understand where you are coming from. But don't forget that not all animals run. Some fly. Anyway, let me assume that your visit this morning is a sign of great things to come. My office is always open. No, but you don't let your stupid ego run you to jail or snuff the life out of you. Remember, a squeeze of a trigger from a careless cop and you will be history. You are wrong, Minister. It depends on who the trigger is being squeezed on. All guns respect great people. And on such people, the trigger refuses to pull. Who are these? Your thugs? Ah. These are my church members. <laughs> anyway, Honorable, I'm glad you honored my invitation. Well, I'm here. Whatever it is you have to say, you must be fast about it. I just want to appreciate your efforts for keeping things straight. You know, a great country, Ghana. <laughs> Honorable, this is 150,000 US dollars. Just for your full head. What have I done to deserve this huge amount of money? Maybe you are yet to tell me what you want in return. Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. What can I possibly want from an honorable minister like you? <laughs> huh? I'm just appreciating your hard work. I think you need the money more than I do. Or don't you think so? Ah, oh, anyway, honorable. Keep it. I don't need it. When I need it, I'll let you know. I know you are joking. Not when thousands of dollars are involved. Honorable, today is not 1st of April. So, it's not time for April Fool. This is real. This is 150,000 US dollars. I don't care if it's a billion pounds. No amount of money is worth the lives of my people. This amount of money is worth every mother's throat. Mm. And with this amount of money, I can turn a cross city into panic city. You're forgetting something. Don't forget, I am Jack Kente. And every seed I sow yields fruits. I'm Andre Peterson from CNN. I'm here to interview you about the Sassy consignment. Oh, I see. Please sit down. Thank you. Tea, coffee. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, 
I'll call you. Thank you, sir. I want you to make two calls. One to the receptionist, the other to the man at the warehouse. Tell the receptionist you wouldn't want to be disturbed for the next four hours. Come on, come on. Peggy, I don't want anybody to call or come in here for the next four hours. One more call. Tell the man at the warehouse to release Nana Kojo's goods immediately. Would you let me live? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Come on. My temperament is nobody's friend. Apia, kindly release the sassy goods immediately. Don't ask me questions. Just do as I said. Thank you. You are a humble man. Sleep well, my friend. Think of it, darling. If you say he didn't do it, how come your goods were released the same time his death was announced? I'm more surprised than you. Maybe Jack Pinte did that to appease me. He's been my bad book for some time now. <sighs> you know, I find that really hard to believe, knowing that Jack Pinte could be that though. I'm shocked myself. I'm really, really shocked. I'm just disturbed because there have been so much occurrences these days. First, there's this rumor about the content of the sassy drink. A police officer goes into investigation and he is killed. Then, the daughter also founds out the file and she was also killed and the file is stolen from her. Then there's this consignment a customs director declares bad. Very bad. A reporter goes in here. Kelsey, what are you driving at, Mr. Detective? All I'm trying to find out is how many more people is Sassy Jane going to kill?